Hello, I'm US Coast Guard from Fab Tactical Studios, and today I'm going to give you guys a brief look at Arma Hunting Simulator 2016. When I first started out, I wanted the player's house to be valuable, so I created a system which allows the player to customize their house with items such as fridges, beds, computers, etc., so that they can customize it to their liking. Another thing I wanted to add is a new inventory system. I didn't want to make it like a mod where it actually took up inventory space in your actual inventory. I wanted a whole separate inventory so that the player can, you know, press the assign key and open that and interact with the items that they have. I wanted the player to interact with the environment, not just with shooting the animals and gutting them. I wanted to go a little bit further and uh, have the player interact with trees, bushes, uh, water, etc. Just so that it can create this survival-esque feel and uh, keep the mod what it's about, which is hunting. Another thing that is really crucial in a good mission file is sound effects. Unlike previous titles, this mission uses 3D sounds. And I put a lot of work into the sound, so I think you guys are going to like it. Another thing that I spent a lot of time on is the graphical user interface. I wanted it to be user friendly and uh, look good, but not too complicated at the same time. I wanted to create some fun and extremely useful tools for the player to use, such as the lantern here, which you can use to uh, guide you through the night. Another thing that I worked extremely hard on was fixing the lag. It was caused by the amount of animals spawned at once on the map, and I created this new system that only spawns animals in the area that you're currently at. I worked a lot on companions to really make them feel more like a partner to you rather than just a tool that you can use to hunt. Basically they have food, hunger, energy, everything that the player has including a level system. Leveling them up will do things such as unlocking new commands, uh, having them obey commands better, stuff like that. I wanted to create some easter eggs that took a long time to do, but were worth it and uh, gave you a reward, were fun doing, and were just fun to complete overall. Well that's about all the time I have for now guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and as always, have an awesome day. I'll see you all in the next video.